All right, two screws. You just kind of want to pull it out and kind of pry it off with your hands. Uh, it comes out, you want to make sure you remove the three bulbs. They just twist, twist lock off. And uh, then we go ahead and get to the main headlight housing, which I believe is held in place with these adjuster brackets. Um, so I'm going to have to see about getting those off. Hopefully it's not too much of a pain and I don't break anything in the process. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. Headlight is out with the other uh, blinker and driving light assembly. And uh, the adjustments for the light, what came out with it. Um, so hopefully I don't need these for the new headlight housing. I don't see a spot for the adjustments to go to. So I, I just took them out. One of them kind of fell apart because this thing's so old. Uh, and I believe it has some of the bulbs and maybe not, maybe I will reuse these. Um, they still look like they're in pretty good shape, but old. And uh, yeah. you got the headlight itself. Should kind of just bolt right on in here. Um, yeah, so we got the some wiring I need to do. And it looks like the un wires without a connector are gonna be going for the for the halo ring. And yeah, I don't know what everything else goes to. So I'm gonna have to take a look at the wiring guide it gave me and see about wiring all this stuff up. So I have the old head wiring harness out. Uh, as you can see, these heads are the, I think they're called like bi-xenon or, or some such where this mechanism will move the bulb in and out. Um, I'm pulling this out and switching it back to a single head bulb setup, which gave me a different uh, power wire. I'm keeping my old ballast because it still works. So I have a different, less complex, slightly um, power setup here. I guess this is for anti flicker and some other stuff, maybe. I can't remember. And I have different bulbs that will go inside this right here. I gotta figure out how to get this to fit with this and get everything rewired up. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything here and see about getting all this wired into this harness here. So that's what I'm working on now. All right, I have the uh, spider headlights here. I actually had to completely rewire everything to get the high intensity discharge bulb into the low beam area while still running halogen high beam without needing double ballast. I'm actually gonna run one ballast just for the low beam and then no ballast for the high beam. And so I actually have, this one is unmodified. This one I have modified. As you can see, I had to create my own little harness type deal here. Um, I actually had a bi-xenon HID kit um, and I'm moving over to a single low beam instead of the bi-xenon since the stock housing only has a single bulb for high low. Um, whereas these housings of course have double and also have a halo ring uh, LEDs that come up here. This is actually upside down. And I believe this is the blinker and then it has another spot up here, I think for daylight. So what I ended up having to do is this stuff right here, I actually had to cut out the low beam wiring here, as you can see here. And I wanted to cut in the high beam. Again, it's kind of a tight fit, but uh, what I had to do was the head bulb harness wouldn't fit through these little rubber I guess this will keep moisture out, which I want to retain. So I cut the head harness 
positive negative wire, pushed them through the rubber, soldered it and heat shrank it back together. And then of course this goes to the igniter here and the igniter, this will go to the ballast, I believe. And but I did want to retain my high beam, but I did not want the ballast of course run the high beam. So I actually ran these and up through a plug. This plug actually. What we have here is a factory style connector that will interface directly with the truck. And this will actually plug right into the truck headlight connector. The white wire is for the high beam. Black is for ground. Red is for the low beam. And so when you have the turn the lights on, of course, it'll say signal between from the red. And then you turn the brights on, signal will cut in the red and turn on the white, which will turn on the brights. If you follow this here, I lost my color coding, but the white will trace all the way back into the red here, which is for the high beam, which is behind here, but the, the plug goes in here. And then, of course, the black, the ground, and then I have the high intensity discharge ball back here. This is actually the plugs here. These plugs from the bulb go into the igniter right here. And the igniter will actually connect to the ballast. Kind of everything zip tied together to kind of keep everything oriented. Uh, but also we have these two additional wires. And these simply are represented for the LEDs here and the halo rings, which are down here, which is two rings. So you got the two sets of wires, ground and power. And you end up running all these together. Um, you kind of see them kind of heat shrinked here. But those all wire together. All the positives for the LEDs and the halo rings and the grounds for the halo rings and the LEDs are together. Not together between the positive and negative, but po all the positives are tied together. All the negatives are tied together. And those actually end up coming out and running here. I made these quick connects so I can actually plug them in and remove them from the truck when I need to move the headlights out without having to cut anything. And what you need to do for these is actually will be splicing into the daytime running lights uh, socket. I'll pretty much just cut that bulb connector off and I will be splicing into female adapters uh, for the positive and negative. So instead of having to run it to the battery, I was running right off that connector, which I never will plan on using again because I'll have a complete new housing in. And that's pretty much the sum up of the whole setup. And of course we have, which is another, this goes to the power relay, ballast. And then I'll be doing this again on my other headlight lens, same setup for the other side. But I just want to show a quick rundown of how to get this all interface. If you did want to have the spider housing, which not many options for the uh, 2004 Explorer, but you just still wanted to run high intensity discharge bulb at least for the low beams maintaining a high beam even though it is hal halogen you'd have to run a whole nother ballast and double ballast for all that i didn't want to do that i just wanted to run high intensity discharge low beam halogen high beam with my halo rings halo rings leds and uh a little daytime light up here in the corner uh, this does use the factory bulb for the blinker and I believe the other daylight, which is up in there somewhere. And uh, I was getting ready to plug all this back in and of course the old connector shattered. So I actually have those on order and should hope have this finished up hopefully in a few days. Headlight mostly done. I still got to add the new extension connectors, replace these crumbly ones here and here. I took the little tiny light and made it into these little butt connectors so I can plug uh the headlight directly into it this has the drl uh function also have tapped in here the ground for the headlight connector since this is the driver's side uh, this connector pretty much is just for the high beam the low beam which is hids is going to be ran off of the actual ballast uh wire harness and you can see i kind of have this set up here of course, this goes to the ballast. This goes to the old little small bulb. And this will go into the passenger side harness. And I got a lot of projects going on. 
doing a full suspension upgrade on my WRX, including brakes. This is what I'm painting over there, getting all that painted up. It, uh, the rear's paint seems crappy and it's already flaking off, so I don't know, I'm a shitty painter. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. I didn't use any prime for the front, so hopefully maybe maybe some prime was causing an issue. I don't know. I did come to an issue um, with these sockets here. When they built these spider connectors, um, these are much too thick here to fit between the housing they left in place and the actual socket. So um, you go to socket it in and it just can't snap in to turn it in place because of the silver shit. So that's a total F up. Dribbled this out just a little bit here. Got this one already dribbled out and this piece fitted in. You have to kind of maneuver it around to clear once you put it in the housing. I still have to work on this one a little bit. Um, make sure you shop back out the debris where the pieces floating around your headlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one fitted. Go first. And the only reason I'm replacing the connectors uh, right here is because the old ones, the clips just shattered apart just by touching them. I figured since I have everything apart, I'll also refresh the clips are only a few dollars to go with the refreshed uh, bulb holder sockets or whatever the heck they're called. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swap these out and go from there. Go for it. All right. Connectors are soldered in place. Been a few weeks, haven't messed with my Explore uh, in a while, uh, but I did put in my new bulbs. These are actually wired correctly with the plug instead of just a little thing holding it in place. Uh, I just uh, actually had to cut this up so I can get this rubber stopper around it, re them back together, plug them back in the heart. The harness is kind of ugly and Jimmy Rig looking but everything's soldered in it just uh, pretty ugly. And as with the driver's side, I did cut this piece outward more to clear the bigger light. I might have to go further. I'm gonna test fit it and see if this fits it without um, impacting the rear of the headlight bulb connector or the rubber uh, surround. And if that's good, then I'm gonna plug everything in and see if it's working. I may have to revisit the driver's side, but uh, I'm gonna go from here. All right, I'm replacing the bright side as well. Um, these headlights come with kind of a very dim, kind of crappy looking halogen. It's like a yellowy, very not bright at all. So I'm gonna swap this out with this much brighter uh, bulb. I believe they're both H1s. And there is one issue with this. This won't plug in directly. There's a little cutout hole here initially. It kind of goes into where the bulb will go and it won't go socket through. So you have to actually snip off the outer part, which I've already done here. So you have to snip off where this hole is to create a space here. And then you can take the bulb and it should drop in. Up. And then you just lock it back down with these, which I probably need two hands for, maybe. And then you can plug it, should be direct plug in. The uh, negative sits out here on the actual outside part. And then you can just plug that in. The positive side, make sure it's nice and tight. And then you're going to put the rubber cap this thing back on because the wiring actually comes out here where I have a splice in my ugly harness here and that should give me nice white um, brights and we'll actually they also bought these same exact lights for my fogs which I'm gonna do uh, once I can make sure my headlights are working I did confirm that my um, regular beams are now working with hids on the passenger side my driver's side is still messed up maybe I switched the wires around so I'm gonna have to pull the, the driver's side back out and take a look at what's going on with that Everything is almost working. Uh, passenger side, the new brights is working good. The head low beam is working good. The new LED bright. On this side, driver's side is working good. Low beam is not working good. I swapped the bulbs between it and this one still didn't work. That one worked. I swapped the igniter. 
that one still worked this one still does not work so i'm pretty sure i'm having an issue with the ballast that's tucked up in here i think it took a crap maybe when it was shorting with my crappy original design um so i'm gonna have to order a new one of those replace that and hopefully everything will be working but for now i'm gonna go ahead and swap out my fog lights they're pretty dirty and one has been working one has not been working for a while so we're gonna get with that and swap that while i'm at this and waiting for my new ballast all right this is the driver's side fog light i've already done the passenger side pretty easy just a little cable clip just pull it kind of straight down a look a little bit because there's not a ton of clearance and you go to turn it um, comes out and as you can see that does not look good at all so all right pretty easy just separates from connector and originally i was going to use these which I have in the high beam, but turns out this piece right here is too wide to fit into the fog light housing. I really don't feel like dremeling anything. So I'm going to use these crappy high beams that came with my headlight projector setup, and I'm gonna use these as my fog lights until I get something different. So uh, has to be narrow. See how this is nice and thin, and the nice one is too fat to fit. And of course, this is what was in there, and they look totally crappy so go ahead and insert this and we'll go back under the car all right goes back in there and you gotta put it in a little bit of an angle and then just turn it and it locks in straight down up and down and then you take the plug straight up and you can put some dielectric grease on here if you're feeling like it and there we go fog lights have been changed out this is where we're at now. I got the fog lights back on. Passenger side head, both brights work. Driver's side head waiting on new ballast. So let me get back to here when I get that in. Got the new ballast in from xenonheads.com. It looks different than my replacement ballast. I'm not sure if that is, if it's the same kind of the replacement kind of with the Galaxy, but it seems to work. Um, the wiring is a little bit different and the igniter looks uh, different. It's kind of tucked down in there. The wiring is kind of messed up now, I've tied it up. But uh, so now I have both low beams, both high beams, fogs are working, blinkers, and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up and we take a look at how low beams are working on both sides. And the high beams on both sides. Thank <laughs> you. 